on my best life crew what it do it is me sims legend santia and i am back up in this piece it has been almost three weeks since i've made a live video because i have actually been sick so as you can see the chocolate city is still standing it's grown a little bit we're gonna go um i'll probably do a tour on my next video show you guys how that's going ashalik is still going strong however um i actually have been playing another sim and her name is yakaira now yakaira is actually a college student i'll get more into that um in a minute but she's somebody um, that i've been playing while i've been sick now i've been so sick y'all that i could barely complete a sentence without coughing so i'm excited that i can talk and that you guys can hear me i got a new mic hopefully i sound a little bit better um and um anyway we are gonna check in with yakaira um and as you can see she's absolutely flawless like look at her she's gorgeous um but before i jump into her story and who she is i'm gonna do a little quick little tour of the house so just give me a minute to get set up um and you guys can see she lives in brightchester um now brightchester is the university expansion pack that's on the sims 4 and i at first had her in um the university campus i'm um, living in the dorms but i didn't like it like it was too much they had too much drama going on so i built this cute little cozy home it's only one bedroom um well i guess you could call it a studio because it's not even a one bedroom y'all uh, but let's go in there let me just show you where she lives at um and she's got her boyfriend in there right now but i'll explain all that later let's just take a look at the little spot because it's only gonna take a second so um that's Ashalik's a picture of her dad um but this is her cute little apartment it's so small you know the house side looks so roomy and stuff but it's so small in here she's got her little paintings she is a painting enthusiast um but there's nothing fancy up in here it's straight college life excuse that pile of dirt on the floor right there um just did not feel like cleaning that up before i started the video i ain't had time for all that so anyway that's her boyfriend like i said we'll get into him in a minute this is her cute little cooking area in her kitchen um and like i said this is her bedroom there is no wall separating her bedroom her little study area she likes to knit um but there is no real separation in this apartment other than the bathroom um i keep saying apartment it's more like a house but a little studio house or whatever but anyways i don't know why let me turn this light on y'all because i like to conserve energy i don't really know if it saves on the bills in the game but let's turn these lights on why don't we turn on all lights there we go okay so and here's their little bathroom it's a little cute and unique you know nothing extra so anyway like i was saying yakaira's out here in the backyard as you can see they're growing a little weedy weed or whatever um oh that wasn't the best view let me get y'all a better look yeah so anyway like i said you guys don't know anything about yakaira who she is what the deal is on that so what i'm gonna go ahead and do is give you guys a recap <laughs> So I basically wanted to give you guys a quick recap on the Sims that I have grown to love. Um, this here is Yakaira. Yakaira is a young adult. She just graduated. She lives with her dad, Swali. Now, Swali is a strict guy. Um, he likes to go fishing. He is a single dad. He ended up losing their mother, um, uh, excuse me, um, Yakaira's mother a long time ago. So he's been like a single dad and he's been taking care of Yakaira. Well, everything's been peachy keen. They get along super well. They love each other. Um, however, Yakaira has just graduated high school and she's now a young adult and um, she has to figure out what she's going to do with her life. So basically, she's a painter she's very creative she likes to do things make things um and that's what she thought she was going to do with her life however her dad swali is like baby girl i love you so much but i don't want to teach yourself i don't want you to teach yourself out of um living your life so he encourages her to apply to school to a college now i have never ever 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 in life um been able to um, complete college in the game but she goes ahead and does that and she applies 
um, and she gets her acceptance letter. So when her dad makes it back home, she tells him um, that she got accepted and he's really excited. So from there, she meets new friends. She has a blast. Um, she ends up going to gosh, I can't remember if it's Bridgechester. I think she, she ends up going to Bridgechester um, and she ends up having a good time. She lives in the dorms. She sees all kinds of crazy things, meets all kinds of crazy people. But after her second semester, she realizes in her third semester that she needs her own space. So Yakira moves into this small studio um, where she can study a little bit more and where she can learn um, even better. And her dad is really pleased with how she's been doing in school. So the day that Yukaira moves in, she ends up running into this fine fella who ends up being a part of the welcome wagon. His name is Naeem. Now, Naeem is a handful, y'all. Naeem is a drug dealer, and he's also a law student. Like, he's trying to get his life together, and he's trying to um, fulfill the legal, legal career. However, he's doing some illegal things, if you know what I'm saying. So... Anyway, she runs into Naeem, and her and Naeem end up spending a lot of time together. They get real friendly, y'all, and they end up really liking each other. So on a random day, Naeem hits her up like, hey, uh, can I come through and can we have sex? So she's like, oh, my God. But they actually end up really loving each other and doing that and end up falling head over heels for each other. But the next thing you know, of course, Yakira's pregnant. So at first, Yakira's all nervous and stuff. She's not sure. She's trying to finish out her third semester strong. So she doesn't say anything to Naeem about the baby. Um, however, when she finds out she passes all her courses, Naeem takes her um, to the light festival that's in the game. Um, if you have the Snowy Escape expansion pack, you can get that. Um, and they end up having like this really romantic night. And she tells him the deal. Like she tells him that they're going to have a baby together. And so he's so excited and he's so joyous. Um, and he has a surprise for her too. So he ends up popping the question on her y'all and they end up really enjoying each other. And she says, yes, and it's lovely. Um, and they're super cute together. Um, and that takes me to where we are right now in the story and where I can start the LP at now that you guys are all caught up. All right, y'all. So we are back in present time, um, and we are here with Yakira. Um, I'm gonna have her gra make something to eat real quick. Um, I'm not sure what a elote is. She's obviously still feeling very pregnant, um, but I'm gonna have her get some grub because it looks like she has class in two hours that she needs to attend. Um, now she's in her last semester, so she only has one class, uh, which is the red or not advanced color theory. Um, so I'm not sure what she's doing, sis, cause you got food on the grill. Okay, okay, I was finna say. Food's out. Aw, they so cute. Uh -huh. But somebody has to resume cooking. Hey. Okay, so other than her being hungry, she looks like she's all right. If you wanna talk to your boo while, don't cook anything extra. But if you want to talk to your boo while um, huh. you're waiting for the food, that's fine. Mm -hmm. You guys can share secrets. Oh, they are so cute. Pepper I love them too. Broom shavy. Bully Galan Oh, you just gonna put the food on the floor, Naeem? Frog How ratchet snazzy. is that? Was <laughs> Who lacks Zerp? They are so cute, though. <laughs> I'm gonna turn that volume down Free, just a little but bit. Naya flu. All right, yes. Yeah, so, so grab you some food because you, got, her? Huh? you got class in just a minute. It looks like she New did her man. homework. And, so and then awesome. yeah. I think Naeem has some Good things boy, that he sir. needs to do. Oh, hmm. oh, it looks like somebody's at the door. And it's Yakira's best friend, Julia. Well, Julia, what's up, sis? But let me see. I'm going to have her talk to her real quick. And then I'm going to have... Yes, I'm going to have him go ahead and do his job. Stop talking to her. You got people at the front door. And I'm going to have him file a legal motion because that's one of his things to do for his job. And then I'm going to have Yakira holla at her new homegirl. 
well, she's not her new homegirl. She just started hanging out with her when she got to the university. Mm -hmm. And everybody knows Julia. I mean, everybody, I mean, she's pretty much like, you know, like the campus homie, you know. She's super cool. I spruced her up a little bit, gave her some eyelashes, uh -huh. but I got the go, sis, because I got to go to class. So uh, I think she needs Show to go, too, because I don't be playing that, having your friend over your house when you ain't there with your man. She needs to go. So let's have her just go away. Yep. See you later, Julia. We'll holler at you later. And let's go have a night, Eam. Finish what he's doing he's got one more thing to do after this so he's got to file a legal motion and he has to file a court document now y'all gotta remember on top of him being um in the legal career he also selling drugs so um he getting that bag <laughs> he's multitasking if you will um, so i'm gonna go ahead and have him file the court documents as well and we're gonna speed this up yeah kyra only has one class and it's over at 425 so she should be out in just a oh. minute up oh, there she is hey girl she's still not feeling too well huh all right yeah Kyra all right girlfriend oh that's because she didn't eat before she left or maybe she did you know when they're pregnant they eat like everything so let's grab that food again let's see how she's feeling she's feeling flirty she said, utterly enamored from feeling enamored with someone nearby. Just by being around a sim that Yakira is so enamored is so enamored with can fill her with a romantic feelings. Okay, so just being around Naeem, oh, as y'all can Quetzal. see, as I was telling y'all earlier, she's just crazy about him. So it seems like they're living like this really cool life and everything. But like I said, Yakira just found out that she's pregnant and she's going to have to tell her dad eventually. Luckily, she's not showing. She's got one more semester of school left and hopefully, you know, she can get through it in between eating all the time and needing to pee and sleep all the time. We're going to send her to the bathroom after this so we won't have no pregnancy problems. And then she said, unpleasant surroundings from bad environment. Huh, is there something dirty? Ever? Oh, yeah, she's got dishes. Oh, it's super ratchet around the house right now. Okay, Naeem, I understand that you need to work, buddy. But we're going to stop you and we're going to clean this house. Because you have a pregnant, soon-to-be wife who is not digging how the house is looking. So you clean that up, buddy. Yes, clean it up, clean it up. Because, yes, it's important to do work and whatnot. You need to mop that floor. You need to scavenger through them parts. And then you need to throw them away. And then, let's see. Let's check on Yakira. See what she's doing. All right. So, it's Julia. Oh, Julia, right, would like to come over to hang out. Is that okay? Oh. Nah, sis. Like, you was just over here. And I know we didn't spend a lot of time together, but I'm still in college. I got things to do. I'm going to have her do her homework because <laughs> she needs to do that. She doesn't have to go back to school in two days. And then he scavengered through the parts. So let's not stretch. Let's go ahead and throw that away. So now the house is all nice and clean. Let's see. Did she pick? He's going to go pick up that plate and put it in the refrigerator. I don't know if y'all know this, but if you put it in the refrigerator, like as soon as you cook it, it preserves it longer. And so like one hour turns into like one day. So if you cook it and it says you have eight hours left, just put it in the refrigerator right after you have eight days. In my particular situation, I waited all damn day um, to get that out. I'm going to have him cook her some food, a high protein dinner, and then the elote, or I'm not even sure if I'm saying it right, but the elote that I had just cooked evidently had four hours left before it went bad. So it has uh, four days left, just so you guys know. I'm sure you already know that. Some of you who played Sims have, you know, you already with the shit. But he's being such a gentleman, as usual. He's taking care of her while she's reading her book. And over here, I don't know if y'all saw that. These are just her little pictures. Mm. This is her father. This is Yakira and Julie. And then this is Naeem mm. and his cousin. I can't remember what his first name is, but for whatever reason, I know his last name. His last name is Harris. Mm -hmm. But anyway, 
She got her study on. Let's speed this up a little bit. Dinner is ready. He's tired. But that's not good. That's not good because I need him to get on the streets. What time is it? It's 7 o'clock. So I need you to get you some sleep, bruh. And then we'll have you eat some of that high-protein dinner in a few hours after you took a nap. Because he's going to have to hit the streets, y'all. Because like I said, Naeem is living a double life. Uh, Naeem is a legal um, agent or whatever. He's a file clerk right now in the legal career. But he's selling dope. So uh, after she finishes her homework, we'll see. This says... Eyes wide open for being surrounded by a naked Sim. So, I guess Naeem went to bed naked, y'all. Okay. It's your thing. Do what you want to do. Do what you want to do. <laughs> All right. So, I guess he's sending Yakaira a signal that he's trying to get busy. But like I said, when he wakes up, I'm sending him to go get this money because they have $2,000. They live in this little bitty house. For whatever reason, the bills keep being like five. Hold up. Hold up. Wait a fucking minute. Who is this bitch? Who are you? Peeping Sam. Tina peeping. Wait a minute. She got me bent. She peeping my man naked. Okay. Okay. Uh-uh. Let's scratch the food and everything, Yakira. And let's go give her a rude-ass introduction. Because I know you know better than to peek in on my man. Oh, no. Not why he naked. Go see about her. Go, go, go see about her. What is you waiting on, Yakira? What you waiting on? Go see about her. Let's go check up on her. Yakira's like, yo, who uh, are Rebo. you? Panka. You gonna make me move your ass? Like, who are you, lady? Hold on, hold on, hold on. Hold on. Let me be mean to her because I'm like, uh -uh. Uh, I'm going to jeer her because uh uh Yakira you're not going to just have her up in your spot like this yeah who are you lady hold on let me get closer in on her she like ooh but that man in there is fine oh she disrespectful she going to look again okay 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 you need to see about her no nah, it ain't going to be no smooth apologies I'm going to mock her little ugly ass outfit how about that a break, lent him. Don't be Spoke nice. Him to Bobby. Don't be nice. Uh, Yumba. Fuizak Shima. Yeah, she didn't Damn like that. Damn, son, Nizobu. Yeah, your ugly ass outfit. Yeah, all up in my window. See, she lucky I'm pregnant, because I will see this bitch. Hold on, let me see if I can fight her. Can I fight her pregnant? Can I fight her pregnant? I'm going to shove her. Uh-uh. Uh-uh. All up in the window, invading my privacy. No, boo-boo. No. Yeah, come see about her. Hold on, I'm going to have to do that again. Let me see. It disappeared. Yeah, I'm finna shove you, boo. Yeah, you finna get shoved. Yeah. She said meet me on the side of the house. Yeah. 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 Yeah, I don't like that. We're going to argue. I'm going to argue about your career because you're looking in my window at my man. I'm just trying to get her mad enough. And make us enemies enough so we can fight because I don't, I don't like that. I don't, I don't like. I'm gonna throw a drink. Oh wait a minute, we need to go over here. here go over here. Go over here. Cause I can't see you. You in the bushes. You ain't no bushes type bitch. Okay. Okay. Back to what I was gonna say. Uh, no, nah, we're gonna be mean. And we're gonna shove her again, just so she knows I'm not playing with her. Where is you going, lady? Oh, you're going to put me back in the bushes? I don't know why I keep ending up in the bushes. So let's go ahead and end this. Let's end this. Let's end this. How about I throw a drink in your face? Oh. Vanarla oh. de Roy. Yeah. In death, Lotha? We are not friends. <laughs> What's your name again? <laughs> Miss Tina Peepin. You must be related <laughs> to Tom. And you know what? I got Tom the same way. You must not know me. Okay. Okay. And then after after I insult you and call your mama a loneliness, then I'm gonna send you home. Squirmish. Then I'm gonna send you home. Go away. Go away. Just go away. All right. So that's what I thought. That's what I thought. So. It looks like Miss Tina Peepin or whatever the fuck her name is. It looks like she 
has went on about her business. She simply has, oh, there she is. Okay. I was say she has disappeared. Sis is mad. She's press, 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 press. Look, Kyra don't need no more press, okay? She's upset. So, I don't know what this little red thing is. Oh, she's not, she's upset. It's okay, boo. It's okay. It's not your fault. It's not your fault. So, how about you not go work? Oh, she want to go punch some punching bags. You are starving, dear, and you are pregnant. So, you might want to chill out. Chill out, Yakira. So, as y'all can see, Yakira is a little different. <laughs> she don't play. She's upset. But she's also pregnant. So, I'm going to have her chill out. Grab her this high-protein food that Nayeen cooked for her. No, nah, we, we don't need to do all that. She's trying to... Ooh. Ooh. Yeah, you hungry. Go eat. Go eat, sis. Go eat. She's like, all I was trying to do was go to bed. Oh. And I seen some stripper hoe looking through my window. So now I'm going to be checking all my little windows for little Tina peeping and Tom peeping. I honestly didn't even know that there was a Tom, a peeping Tina. Like, that's mm -hmm. new for me. That must have been in, like, the update or something. I don't even know. <laughs> All right, so I'm going to have Mamas go ahead and eat her food. Um, I'm going to get her in the bed um, so she can go to sleep. And I think that is when I'm going to go ahead and get Naeem up because that is when his second life starts. Like, he is, like I said, that legal attorney soon to be in the day and at nighttime. He is selling them big drugs with a big dope making big moves so he's gonna get some rest i'm gonna have her get some rest she's still hella pressed about what just happened with this tina peeping you see how she clapped them gloves y'all i'm too through i'm too through but anyway like i said um i'm gonna make another video tonight i just gotta put the little one to bed so stay tuned and we can see on the next video naeem hitting the streets hitting the chocolate city Until then, be sure to hit that red subscribe button right under the video to make sure you don't miss anything else that comes from me, including my new CC that I post weekly. All right, guys. Thanks for sending your best life with me. I'll see you next time. Toodles.